The aftermath of Hurricane Laura, the storm leaving behind a path of devastation. This morning, so many people in Louisiana are waking up without power or water, and it may be that way for weeks. Rob Marciano joins us from New Orleans. Good morning to you, Rob. Yeah, even that's if they're actually waking up in their home. A lot of people who live in Lake Charles don't have a livable home, even if they had power and water. So many people are not even there. We have hundreds of evacuees staying here in New Orleans, but help is on the way and the people of Lake Charles are going to need help for a long, long time. This morning, over 400,000 customers still without power in the wake of Hurricane Laura. Utility crews are rolling in, but are faced with a completely crippled electrical grid to be repaired or rebuilt. Tens of thousands also without running water in extreme summer heat. Five out of the six water plants in Lake Charles severely damaged. The water and electricity is out and you should expect it to be out for weeks. Forcing the shutdown of one of two hospitals. Newborn babies needing evacuation to Children's Hospital in New Orleans. Able to bring home two sweet little twins. They lost water pressure and they lost their air conditioning system. So everything, the walls were wet, the floor was wet from the humidity and it was just stifling. While the other hospital in Lake Charles trucks water in hourly to stay open. We were using up to 100 gallons a minute. Storm victims lining up to get water and other necessities. There's a Calvary Convoy of Hope, one of many volunteer organizations that have come in with their donated supplies to give them to the storm victims that need it. Food, water, and tarps for damaged roofs. We found a woman who lost her entire home in the storm. What do you need? Chef Gary LeBlanc started feeding storm victims after Hurricane Katrina. For 14 nights in a row, they just scooped food out of a, uh, green beans out of a can. Cold, no love, and I just thought, there's a better way to feed people. He makes restaurant quality meals for those in need, and if you can't pick it up, they'll deliver it. I don't understand what keeps our staff going. They say something amazing happens over a shared meal. Chef LeBlanc has a big heart and the man can cook. So many people like him are rolling into Lake Charles from around the country to help uh, the, the residents there and they're gonna be there for a while. By the way, uh, the nurse you saw in that piece who evacuated kids, babies from Lake Charles to here in New Orleans, 15 years ago, she was evacuating babies from Katrina here in New Orleans to Lake Charles and the anniversary for Katrina was yesterday. So just an amazing lineup of, of events and certainly she feels rewarded because of what she was able to repay. All right, uh, look, the recovery there is gonna be slow, no doubt about that, but now they've got heat. It was so hot yesterday and it's gonna be so hot again. Heat advisors are up for Lake Charles, up through Shreveport, gonna feel like up and over 100 degrees. They don't have power, they don't have water. That's just miserable conditions to try to get a recovery going. All right, we had severe weather across the Northeast yesterday, a couple of tornadoes, tornado warnings in uh, around Albany, just north of Albany, two reported. Uh, some damage with those as well. So intense storms there. Uh, that's going to clear out today, so it should be a decent day across the Northeast. But we're also watching development or potential development more in the way of tropical storms. This one kind of popped up right over Florida. It's got a 50-50 shot at becoming our next tropical cyclone. It should stay out south of the Carolinas and a couple of more as we get into the peak of hurricane season. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.